Hello and welcome to the guide on how to set up a packed global master node. First of all, you will need to sign into your filter and deploy a new server. Okay, it will need to be a cloud compute and you can choose a location of your desire uh, wherever you want, but some locations don't offer Ubuntu and others do. Then you will need to select Ubuntu version 18.04 and you will need the 5 USD uh, server size that is with 1 CPU and 1 gig of memory. Then none of the other settings are important. You can add an SSA key, key if you want, but it isn't needed. Then uh, I will call mine MN1 and deploy server now. After a couple of seconds, this will be done installing. Okay, before we do anything, we need to disable staking. And how you do that on Windows is you go to your um, file manager, you type in percent app data percent, and then you get in your uh, roaming folder, you search for the pack global folder. In the pack global folder, you will see the pack global conf, the pack global config. You edit it and you add in staking is zero. With that, you will disable staking and you will make sure that your coins won't get locked for 100 blocks if they get chosen for a stake. Restart your wallet and it will be showing that this arrow isn't green but gray and staking is inactive. You will need to generate a new address. I've called mine master node one. As you can see here, this is the address. I will copy the address, go to send, and send the 500,000 as collateral. It needs to be exactly 500,000. Don't use instant send, it is impossible above 100k pack. And you can select which input you want to send it from. I will send it from the input master node video. Okay, I will send it. And three, two, one, yes. As you can see, I have done a transaction to myself. And now under inputs, I can see that I have 500,000 pack in the label master node one. Okay, now that you've set up a collateral in an address you have labeled yourself, you can see mine is now one confirmation and we need to get 15 confirmations. So while it's doing that, we will go and connect to our VPS and start the setup. So, to connect to your VPS, you will need to copy your IP address and go to Putty. Where to download Putty, I will leave in the description. Then, fill in the IP, port 22 is the normal SSH uh, connecting uh, uh, port. Click on open. It will ask you if, the, if you trust the connection. Yes. And then log in as username at filter its root. And the password you can just copy and then right click in the console and press enter. And now you're logged in. So um, the next step when you are logged in in the VPS is you will need to do the following command, and that is to download the pack global masternode script. This script will install the pack global daemon, set up some swap memory, and also configure the firewall. Just there's everything that you need to do to set up a masternode on a VPS. As you can see, the script is now on your screen, and I will also leave the commands in the description so execute this and it will ask for the mass node bls private key this is a step where we are going to introduce our handy little list um, this will also be in the description with the collateral hash they, all those things you will need to set up a mass node the collateral hash collateral index ip and port so we will start with filling in some things the IP and port IP you have right here okay and the port is as you can see at all, all the mass nodes that are set up is 
seven one one two seven one one two what you will also need is the BLS private key okay to get yourself your B your BLS private key and your public key you need to go to tools debug console and type in BLS generate okay here's your secret key and your public key let's fill those in the list secret that's the private key so let's copy that private key boom and now the public key so two more two more down if you are just hosting a master node for yourself operate reward will be zero and okay let's continue you will need to operate a private key and you paste that into putty on the VBS. Okay, now it starts. Now that we have the 500,000 back in a separate address, we can go and get the collateral hash and the collateral index. How you do that is you go to the debug console and you type master, oh, master node outputs. Okay. Since I have only one collateral, if you are setting up 10 mouse nodes and you have 10 different addresses with exactly 500,000 pack, you will have also 10 collateral hashes and collateral index. So my collateral hash is this number starting with a 7 and the collateral index is 1. Okay, as you can see, we still need a owner key address, the photo key address, a payout address, and the fee source address isn't needed. At least we will we won't need it. That is for when you want to take fees from a different pal than the master note rewards. And we will just use the, the payout address as the fee source address. So we will need to generate one, two, three new addresses. And the, how I'm going to do it is in the console, I will type in get new address. So first address, this will be my uh, owner key address. And another time, this will be my photo key address. And this will be the payout address. Okay. To register a master node, the payout address will need to have some pack in it for a transaction. Since re re registering the master node, okay, for to register the master node, the payout address needs to have some pack in it. Since the re the re registration of a master node is about is a transaction, and you will need to pay the transaction fee. What I'm going to do is you need to put some pack in your payout address and I will set 150 pack to the payout address. Make sure that it doesn't take it from the master node one collateral. I will take it from the change. So the, yeah, the pack that was left over from my first transaction and I will send 150 pack there. And as you can see, there's one, now one address with 150 pack. That's the payout address. Okay, now that we have most all of the information that we need to start registering the master node, and then you will need to prepare the syntax. So it will start with plot x register underscore prepare. And then the first thing you will need is you will need the collateral hash, then space, the index, and most things will need to be between those little dots in the sky, but the collateral index and the operator reward don't need to be. So after you have the collateral hash and the collateral index, you will need the IP, the IP and port. After MP IP import, you will need the owner key address. That's the address that is the owner of the master node. 
this is all one long command, so everything will need to be behind each other. Then you will need the operator public key. That's the key that you generated with BLS generate. Also in the list. Then you will need the voting key address. This address you will need to use to vote on our DAO. When there is a proposal on our network asking for coins, you can say you can vote with one mass node, yes or no. And if you vote, and you will need that address to vote. Then you have the operator reward. You will just enter zero. Now we need the payout address. This is where we put the 150 pack. And we um, and this is where if we get a reward from a master node, it will be sent there. Okay, now the whole syntax is ready. So I'm going to copy it, go to my debug console, and enter the command. Nothing is read, so everything went good. As you can see here, you can see the TX. The TX is a long string, and um, it ends right here. Let's copy and paste that in our document again. Now the collateral address is this one also in our document. And the sign message is this long string. And we will also put it in our document. Since we will need it for the rest of the registration. Okay, now we are going to do the sign message command. Sign message, and then the collateral address, and then the sign message. Okay, sign message, collateral address, always between those dots, and then the sign message itself. Press enter, and again it's green. And we get a um, SIG hash. This is what we call the SIG from the sign message will uh, generate a SIG. So now we have everything that we need and we have done most of the commands and there is one command left that we need to do and that is to register the master node completely. But first, let's check the VPS if, is ev if everything is good. Okay, your masternode wallet on the server has been set up and will be ready when the syncing is done. To check the syncing, you will need to do this command. I will also edit it in the description. And the command, the command is uh, the uh, pack the global clean masternode sync status. And you can also see it here. And with that, you will see is blockchain synced? False. Is synced? False. So the master node is not done syncing, but when I go into the folder pack global and I check with the pack global key, okay, if you do slash pack global key, uh, it's exactly the same as a, a deeper console. Like if I type get info here, I get the same information as I do get info here. You see, everything is exactly the same. So with get info, I can see that it's now synced up to 90k blocks. And I will wait until this is completely synced. And with the masternode sync status command, I can see that the sync is initial and not finished. So let's wait until that's done. The masternode is synced and now it's ready to do the last command to register the masternode. This is the command that we need to do. It's plot it's register underscore submit. First was it prepare, now it's submit. And then you will need the TX, that long, very, very long string. Oh shit, I didn't get that. Okay, you will need to get the TX. And paste it in there. Of course, we're in between those little apostrophes. And 
you will need the sick. Also between those little upstrokes. And then you press enter. And congratulations, your master node is now registered. And when one block pass, passes, you will be able to see it in the, my master node. But for now, you can see that you did a payment to yourself. And when this has, uh, when this is one confirmation, so it is registered on the chain, your master node will be registered as well. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can email helpdesk at backglobal.io, join our Discord, reach out to us on any of our social media, and we will be happy to help you with setting up your master node and uh, securing our network. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.